Welcome back YouTube, J Bob the Video Game Slob, coming back at you with some slob style games, sports games get no love, and that sucks in the collecting hobby, because if you're a player of video games, play some sports games. A lot of these are great, they have RPG elements, a lot of them have arcade elements uh, going on in them, uh, and some of the iconography is just a lot of fun. Uh, but they're also just dirt cheap. Uh, so yeah, I was down at the local video game store today trading in a comic to a buddy of mine who is a big Sergio Aragones uh, fan. It was a Mad Magazine that had this really cool uh, map in it. And so he had a trade-in that had a bunch of sports games with it. Uh, and I collect everything. I, I, I enjoy playing sports games a lot. Um, you know, usually I just check them out from the library as soon as they come out. That way I can play the new ones for free. Uh, but, you know... At, just wait for him to put these out on the clearance rack for 50 cents. Uh, and so we had a bunch of new ones, and so we're just filling holes. I had uh, Madden 19, but I didn't have the Hall of Fame edition. There are so many stupid GOAT editions, Hall of Fame editions of Maddens, uh, that it's always kind of fun to grab those for 50 cents. Uh, and just a lot of holes in the NHL series. I don't exactly know why, uh, but I did. Uh, I have, if I did, I guess that'd be, geez, it was six years ago. I don't remember the NHL 3s. If you remember that, let me know. Uh, and the NHL 16. Again, it's always really cool to see those uh, early ones. Uh, if you're not aware, the Madden NFL 25, now not the 25 that just came out because it's Madden 25, but the NHL, or NHL, NFL Madden that was 14, that was the 25th anniversary, so they named it Madden 25, is very valuable. We just looked it up today because he had a copy come in. I was like, is this still pricey? It was 18 bucks. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. If you're not already on the lookout, uh, Madden NFL 25 for the Xbox One and PS4. Not the new one, the old one. Worth a good amount of money. Uh, and the same with this one. MLB The Show 16. Not worth diddly crap on the PS4, uh, but worth like 10 bucks, I think it was, or something like that, on the PS3, because that's going to be a very late release on the PS3, and it's got foil, and you know, I'm a 90s kid, I love shiny shiny. So there you go, not everything has to be picking up a bunch of RPGs, not every day is me spending $500 on, uh, you know, new video games for uh, Black Friday and that kind of thing. Yeah, although the $30 Zeldas on... Uh, you know, Walmart's Black Friday did get to me. We'll get those as they come in the mail. I'm sure the mail is going to be uber slow. Uh, we've had good sales coming in. Uh, as part of that $160 collection, I think I never got it in because I, I listed it, uh, but was Ernest, uh, a movie on Blu-ray. Uh, it's a Halloween Ernest movie. That sold today for 60 bucks, And then I did sell that stand mixer for $80. Uh, you know, so figure out fees and shipping, so... $110 back already out of that $160 deal. So uh, those are the ones off the top of my head. But good sales coming in. Again, what is that? $140 in raw I don't know, sales value today uh, after you get off work. So not bad. Anyways, three minutes. I don't think we need to go three minutes or longer on sports games. That's what J-Bob the video game slob is buying, collecting, and selling today. We'll talk to you real soon, YouTube.